Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Artifact 4 Kaiserreich, as now Yugoslavia, let us continue on for the last death off. So, we have made the discovery that uh, inviting somebody into the Balkan Research Initiative does double the um, the bonus here. Or does it? Wait, price 20%. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Research center 50%. Okay, maybe, for me, maybe I'm just uh, incorrect on that. Yeah, no, never mind. I'm stupid. So, never mind. Ignore that. Ignore that opening. It does not. The max is still 50%. I thought it was 50% per um, per research group, but no, it does. It doesn't work that way. So I mean, it still does get us up to 50%. So I mean, it's still a 10% boost. Uh, because the four people have it, but Canada does have it. It counts actually for 30%. So yeah, Canada has the research. That nobody else has. It does count for 30%. So for you, for example. Yeah, because just Canada has it. It is a 30% boost. So, I mean, it's still useful in that regard. Just So, it's not 100% me being very dumb. Um, So, we can, yeah, we can kind of ignore all of this for now. World credits. Do you do anything? No, just building slots. Again, I don't really care about too, too much. Start integrating you. Free military factories. We're kind of making a decent amount of everything right now. So we're actually going to double on our aircraft. And I know you don't like me. Claimed our territory. Have joined Pakistan's Yeah, faction rivalry. You're not fans of us. And I, and I can understand. We did take over a lot of territory from your, uh, your former empire here. But just don't worry about that, okay? By the way, how are all you guys doing? Just normal, really. Not nothing too too crazy. Are you going to join? Okay, Social Democrats did win, but you don't have the coalition, so you're not going to join the Cyniclist. Don't know about Norway and Finland's already totalist, so they could join the International. So we'll see what Sweden does. I think they'll, they'll probably join the Reich's Pact. If I had to guess, Brazil can kind of join either Reich's Pact or the um, or the Entente. Argentina, I think, normally joins the Reich's Pact, if I remember correctly. And the CSA and American United States still fighting it out. Canada probably does want to get involved sooner rather than later. Yeah, you have like five. You have like only a handful of divisions, but they're also um, concentrated in this area. And it can be a bit of a penalty for you. One more military factory. Let's actually put you into rifles. That's like five infantry divisions. Should be okay. Because we can have 41 troops at the moment. Which again, we start at seven. We're, we're doing very well for ourselves. Let's go for one more artillery unit as well. Um, keep importing stuff from Greece. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any puppet states at the moment. Is there nobody in the world to ships rubber? Really? That does that doesn't seem right. What do you mean there's Why The people who I can trade with are quite limited and I and I don't know why that is? Like, it seems like it's stuck on neighbor for some reason. So, I'm gonna save the game quickly. We might have to, we might have to reload. There might be, like, a bit of a glitch. I'm, I'm just not too sure. It's a little bit surprising, to say the least. Eh. Eh. Let's load up on Serbia. Thank you very much. Reshaping history. History schmistry. If it allows me to maybe trade outside of my, you know, closest neighbors, that would be nice for us. Because I know before we were able to trade with France. I have no... I, I don't know. But, so I guess we'll just kind of ignore it for now. Um, we do have 43, so you know what? Let's start integrating this territory as well. After that, we're going to need another... 60, 60, 60, 80. A lot. A lot of political power is still needed. Is there anything actually here that gives me political power? Political power gain goes up. Not bad. 
Army experience plus 50 isn't really that meaningful to me. Farming subsidies, population, actually makes political power go down, which is kind of the opposite of what I'm actually wanting right now. So... I mean, stability... I guess we'll just go for maintain military dominance. We now have five political power. I mean, we're getting one per day. That's still, I think, like a year-ish for all of our um, territories to actually be properly incorporated into the country. So it's going to take a while. Uh, you guys have won your war. That should be you. You might join up with the... Um, you might join up with the Entente. South Africa is kind of a little bit tricky. I'm like, what, what side do they actually end up joining? A little bit wish-washy, I guess you could say. You guys will deploy probably like right here, just preparing for the naval invasion. Uh, in nine days, we'll start researching naval invasion tech, which I probably should have done a while ago. But it should be done pretty quickly. Let me imagine if my... Yeah, all my allies do have the tech. The research is in like 35 days, which really is not a... Uh, a big deal whatsoever. They might not even deploy in the next 35 days. They will deploy on June 3rd. Okay, no, they're going to deploy in like four days. But still. Three and eight. We have 20 army experience. We can't get another really cheap research doctrine, unfortunately, at the moment. Yeah, Finland has now joined up with the International. You're 51 days now? Why another 35? I don't know. Did we, like, get a penalty at some point? I guess so. This is the first time I think I've seen Finland join the International in a long, long time. Like, if Finland joins up with you... No, you've already got a Democratic Mandate, so I'm pretty sure it's already a little bit too late for you to actually join, um... The Internationale. Because Finland and... Um, Finland and Norway could probably team up on uh, Sweden to get the kill there. And did you guys have your... Civil War? Oh, you avoided the Civil War. Oh, congratulations, Spain. Good for you. Um, we'll upgrade our artillery units. I mean, rebuilding industry doesn't make a ton of sense because the war didn't actually uh, happen. But, you know, place in the world, joining on taunt. I'm just saying, Spain, that's a pretty good choice for you uh, at, at the moment. National focus. Organization going up by is, is quite nice. Attack and defense on core territory doesn't really matter right now because we've already won the war that we were kind of worried about. So let's go for another 1% recruited population. I would like the cheaper bonus on you first. Tanks. I think we just kind of don't build them right now. We can probably also cut down on rifle production to maybe get a handful more uh, aircraft. Because our air, you know, our air force is slowly building up. How many planes do we actually have? Uh, we have nine and eleven, so we have we have like twenty planes. Not not a ton. I will admit. Uh, we'll deploy you guys just now. So fighters will build up to 200. Bombers will build 100. How long is it going to take for me to build these amount of planes? Oh, like years. Yeah, no, like two, two years to build these planes. Quite a while. But I'm sure these will slowly start building up once we have more time. Thank you, France, for your single uh, whatever the hell that is. I still wish that Hearts Fan 4, like, told me what they gave me, because I really have no clue. Uh, extra 20 political power. I guess we do get that event once a year, so, I mean, that does save us a little bit of time. You're the people who keep having, like, uprisings, so I guess we'll just wait till we have 80 political power. Uh, get Zig Reb to be friendly with us. I think should be a little bit better. We're now getting, we're getting a negative point. 
oh, negative point one because we're integrating two provinces right now. And of course, the more provinces we actually integrate, the slower we're going to be getting um, political power. But it's still got to be the best uh, option for us. Yeah, and our planes aren't doing anything because I don't want them to. Like, how do you not just kill these guys? Because you've taken over the rest of the country, right? Yeah, like, all the islands have been occupied. I still don't know how Venezuela hasn't gotten anything done here. Like, you would think... Nationals take over. How many troops do you have? Two to ten? Okay, now I can actually understand why you can't do too much. Okay, but... So, Ireland has joined up with the Internationale. Oh, it actually shows a list here. Has it always done that? Chile and Cuba. Cuba, I guess, has gone with you. And then you show a big list here. Do you have one for the Entente? No, the Entente got jack shit. They got absolutely nothing to show for it. Military Council is going to be done in another 20 days. After that, what do we want? Land forts. Really don't think we need it all. For attack and defense, engineering company, just more recruit population. I mean, that sounds interesting and kind of like I want it. Add technology, motorized infantry for free. Import on ton armor designs. I mean, there's actually some decent stuff in here. But I think there's even more recruit population. I kind of just want it now. Peace conference over. The Ottomans have won their war, which I'm actually surprised by. I actually didn't think they would, uh, I really just leave my naval invasion plan, but it's okay. Like, again, we're still about a year away from the war actually beginning, if I had to take a guess. Because you don't fire until, yeah, June 14th, 1939. So, it's not a big deal. The Ottomans are absolutely going to crush the Persians. Absolutely no doubt about that whatsoever. We don't need a nice little naval invasion tech. Maybe we get one of you? No, let's actually get the bombers uh, up and running for now. And in sufficient resources. We do need some rubber, but again, apparently I can't trade it because there's nobody in the world. Like, my trading options are so limited, and I, I don't know why. I might just need to restart the game. Uh, Greece, I still want to trade with you. Yeah, no, I think I might just need to restart the game. I, I really don't know what my problem is to, like, I can't do anything here. And I don't think I've selected, like, an option to not trade with anybody. Unless they've actually have just changed the way trade works, but that doesn't seem correct either. Also, you are doing very, very well. I've never actually seen the left camp T perform this, uh, Strongly in China before. Yeah, I really like. To, I like to integrate more stuff, but it's really just not happening. You know, Greece has joined the Entente, so we now have an ally in the region. Hello, Greece. Nice to have you on board. So the Entente's having a pretty decent game. I mean, actually, when you think about the Reichspax, also having a pretty decent game, just because uh, because of us, really, who kind of forced Austria to join uh, arms with the Germans. Again, there's like, there's no way we could have fought the Germans as well as Austria. Now you guys are at war. We'll see if you actually unify Italy before the, um, the Second Vild Creek actually begins. And in fact, I guess it doesn't really matter so much because Austria's going to be involved no matter what at this point. Apparently we also just get land for for free. Well, I'll take it. I will take it. I don't see a reason why... Like, we don't have any territory Austria actually claims. We have territory that Hungary claims, but Hungary, of course, is a puppet state, so their opinion uh, doesn't really matter. Let's be honest. Also, why did... I... A. Romania. I gave you this territory for a very specific reason. You are supposed to keep it. Thank you very much. I gave you this land. So that on one side of the river is Romania, on the other side of the river is Hungary. How difficult is that? Actually, I don't even know why you gave back the territory. 
Because they're not in the same faction together. If you were in the same faction, it would make sense because you had an option to do that. But for right now, I don't know why you would do it. And are you just more... No, you do become a rurally developed... I, again, I don't know what that actually means at all. Like, I'm assuming it's better for us. Russia's going to be winning against the Don Kuban Union pretty soon. Um, like, where is Don Kuban in their little trade organization? No, they're not. Um, we don't want to worry at all. Like, the Navy stuff... I'm sure Austria and Germany can have enough naval superiority in the Adriatic to help us out. Or, you know, two Sicilies actually just joins the Entente, which wouldn't uh, hurt us, of course. It'd be actually be quite nice. 6% build more factories in Bosnia, please and thank you. Population is going through the roof, which is nice for us. We're going to go for one more artillery piece. 97 support equipment probably is not enough to do anything here. Um, no, we're missing. Actually, we'd only be missing 23. So throw them in there for now. Oh, no, now you guys are actually having a civil war. Okay. South African Civil War. Completely okay. In about one more week, we'll be able to actually integrate another province into the country, which will be nice for us. You're going to be another drain of point one, no matter where we go. Can we actually integrate you? We can. Fifteen, eight. I mean, what's population like? One point four. So we probably want to go for you first, because you have the highest population. So you know, highest population provinces first, because they're the ones that are probably taking the most um, manpower and equipment away from us. The second northern expedition. So we'll see if the left camp actually have a chance to win. If they actually can do it, I'll be amazed. Because again, like, I haven't actually seen them do too much. And the Ching are fighting an absolutely massive um, war. So I really don't see the Ching actually being able to win this. I mean, 14 to 46 divisions, though, really isn't that much. The Black Devils. Okay, you're going to get the elite infantry division. If you guys would both join my faction, though, not my faction necessarily, even though I think uh, Norway probably is going to join the Entente. Uh, we'll upgrade the fighters to be less garbage, essentially. Again, we can't import any rubber for one steel. I guess I'm, I'm still going to import more um, more stuff from you, because we'll probably also need more steel maybe when we upgrade the fighters, or upgrade the bombers, I should say. No, no, you're aluminum. Never mind. We still want it probably anyways. Engineering company. Better recon company because we actually are going to be already had those in the three divisions. So getting more of them I don't think would hurt. And I guess we'll throw all our planes over Italy for now. But you're going to cost us fuel. So actually we don't want to do that quite yet. Infrastructure, civilian factory... Ability plus 10%. So we'll go for Monument of the Unknown Soldier just so we can get that 10% ability bonus afterwards. Would be quite nice for us to have. And Austria can't do anything because you're no longer a faction leader. You're still doing Embrace Pluralism. So we'll actually see if um, Austria still unites all of their smaller countries together. Do they perform the Nubian Federation under this? Austria demands reintegration. Deal with the devil. No, you form the United States Greater Austria. You form the Nubian Federation, I think. I'm actually not too sure which ones you guys have gone with, though. And you guys have foreign peace because the CSA is absolutely dominating you. Which I'm, I actually thought the United States government, like just um regular old federal government, was going to win. I really thought they had a chance to. But at this point, unless the Canadians intervene, which I don't think they're doing. Ah, they have done crossing the border. And they do have 49 divisions ready to go for an invasion. Bulgaria has joined the Reichs Pact. 
should be fine, I think. Romania hasn't joined any side quite yet. They can just join up with Romain, uh, with Moscow, I think, as well. King of Spain has joined the Reich's Pact. Not a huge surprise they usually join the Reich's Pact anyways. Yeah, they're much more of a Reich's Pact faction. The Carlos is more the Entente. Even though Spain could join either faction, they usually only join one. So are you planning on invading the South? But I think there's a chance you can maybe get it done. Like, the front line for the CSA is absolutely massive. But they also have a ton of troops. Free military factories. Let's go for artillery. Get another artillery factory going. We are, I mean, we have 371. So we could train up way more infantry. Which is probably what I'm going to do for right now. Actually, train up some cavalry units as well would not be a bad idea. Please actually deploy. Thank you. So these five units are going to be our invasion point going into Ravenna. But they're going to have a front line with the Reichs Pact if they win the war against the Italian Republic. So what I'm thinking is the SRI is going to be at a front line here. They're going to have a front line here. Who they're actually already at war with. Okay, so they're already fighting you. They're fighting you to the wards in the north. If when they're fighting this war, we can invade Ravenna, cut straight across here to the other port, like near Spezia, cut them in half, we'll be looking quite, quite nice for any kind of future uh, expedition, uh, any future invasion. And the Qing are looking absolutely horrible. Yeah, they're, they're not going to win. They're very much uh, very dead. Building slot, we do not want. Another military factory, which I think we're just going to put straight onto into our bombers. How much aluminum do I have? 72. Oh, yeah, we, we have more than enough. It's not a big deal whatsoever. And after this... I mean, actually, when, when's the bomber done? Oh, we have a bunch of text being finished. Within the next week, which is quite nice. And Russia is just securing their hold over the uh, Caucasus at the moment. But I do think that for right now, it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks so much for watching my saying. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now do we close thumbs down. Want to subscribe and goodbye.